What's involved with installing a level two electric vehicle charger? Well, it can be as simple as plugging in or as complicated as rewiring your house. If you've made the leap and purchased an EV, congrats! A world of smooth, efficient, and torquey motoring awaits. To ensure you live your best electric vehicle life, you probably want to install a level two charger in your garage or carport or wherever you park regularly. I'm not going to judge. But before you head down that road, there are some things to be aware of. And right out of the gate, this can either be a dead simple operation or a complicated mess that literally costs you thousands of dollars. On the easy end of the spectrum, if you already have an appropriate power supply, like a NEMA 1450 outlet, and it's in a good location, you're set. Just plug your charger of choice in and let your vehicle start absorbing all of that sweet, succulent electricity. Of course, this assumes you bought a charger with a plug on it. Some units require hardwired connections, so be aware of that before purchasing. One step up the difficulty ladder, if you're not blessed with easily accessible 240 volt power, you'll have to run a new line from your electrical panel to wherever you plan on juicing up your EV. And if you're super handy, this might be something you could tackle yourself, but most people will probably want to hire a qualified electrician so they know the work is done safely and correctly. And safely, because safety matters. It's the only way you can stay safe. Are the lawyers good with that? We don't have any lawyers. <laughs> That's sweet, I can say whatever I want. Now pricing for this sort of job will vary based on myriad factors, but it'll likely cost you at least a few hundred dollars beyond the price of the level two charger itself, which you need to purchase if your vehicle didn't come with one. Now, if you drive an EV from a manufacturer that doesn't provide any charging hardware, no sweat because Lectron can help. You see, they sell all kinds of cables, chargers, and adapters, everything to enhance the EV ownership experience. So if you need a portable charger, either J1772 or Tesla, Lectron has you covered. If you want a new V2L adapter for your Hyundai, they can help. Or if you're shopping for a level two charger, Lectron has myriad options, including this beefy 48 amp unit with a convenient NEMA 1450 plug. So it doesn't have to be hardwired into your home's electrical system, though it can be if that's what you prefer because either route is an option. So for more information about Lectron and their broad range of products, scan the on-screen QR code or hit the link in the description box below. So if you need to run a new 240 volt line, you may also have to upgrade your electrical panel. That is, replace the main box and all the fuses or circuit breakers. And this isn't necessarily a terrible idea if your home is older. Breakers can go bad over time and safety standards do change. You may also need a new panel if the existing one is full, if there isn't enough room to add more breakers to accommodate new circuits, like a dedicated line for your EV charger. And overall, having a professional do the work, not that guy your cousin's best friend knew back in high school, this job will likely cost a couple thousand bucks, so it's not cheap. Now, the worst case scenario when installing a level two charger is needing an electrical service upgrade. If your home is old, it may only have 30 or 60 amp service, which is not going to cut it. And this is something you should be able to figure out by looking at the number on the main circuit breaker. If your service comes up short, your best bet is upgrading to 200 amps, which will give you plenty of breathing room for charging EVs while also providing space to grow in the future. Expect a service upgrade to cost several thousand dollars, though again, there are many variables in play. So installing a level two charger can be super easy or a major expense. To recap, all you might have to do is plug the thing in and you're good to go, but depending on what you purchased, your charger may have to be hardwired, which of course is a little bit more challenging. Certain drivers will have to run a new 240 volt line out to their garage or carport, which will cost you. Of course, other homes will require a new power panel to accommodate a charger. And finally, older houses could need an entire electrical service upgrade, which is the worst case scenario. 
Next, watch our feature where we explain what kind of level 2 EV charger you should get. There are a lot of options out there, but click over here to watch that video right now.